Okay, people, just got done watching the Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion Revenge movie. And for the most part, it was decent. I mean, remember, the last cartoon you had was Mortal Kombat Defenders of the Realms. <laughs> yeah, this is a thousand times better than that. Of course, it had its flaws, a couple of inconsistencies, and more importantly, some of the power scaling was all over the place. Some characters came out of this movie looking like bosses. Some characters came out of this movie looking like freaking jobbers, okay? And if you do not want to be spoiled, do not watch the video. Turn off now. Again, if you have not seen the movie and you do not want to be spoiled, do not watch the rest of this video. Go watch the movie, then come air after. Let's go. Look at these amazing categories, people. Glorified jobbers, mid-carders, main eventers, the strongest one. Let's start with the glorified jobbers. And if you don't know what a glorified jobber is, look it up. And unfortunately, <laughs> the person going in that category is Jax. Good God almighty, this was a bad, bad movie for Jax. Terrible. Jax was the freaking Art Lean of this film. And if you don't know who Art Lean is, look him up too. In fact, I'll do a video on Art Lean. <laughs> bad look for Jax. Worst showing of Jax ever. Looking like a damsel in distress out there. Looking like food out there. We can only assume he'll get stronger in the next film, so that's the saving grace. Other glorified jobbers? Well, nothing wrong with the power scaling here. Kano has always been trash, unfortunately. Okay, done nothing in this film. Typical Kano. Who else? Oh man, our favorite boy, Reptile Man. Our little journeyman. Treat like shit as usual. Nothing wrong with the power scaling there. Always written poor. Baraka, same shit. I think the guy bodied himself. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, but at this time, that's how Baraka was written. So no shock there. Motaro. I, <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was. I don't know what that was. You know what? Yeah, maybe it wasn't Motaro. Maybe it was just a regular Centurion. <laughs> nah, but at least it was better than... Baraka, Reptile, and Kano, I guess, but still trash showing for a guy of his caliber. Let's go to the mid card. Sonia, she did her thing. Decent showing, decent dialogue, and no, it wasn't Ronda Rousey. A lot of people are happy for that. Um, Johnny Cage. Of course, this is Johnny Cage from Mortal Kombat 1, and not a forced all of a sudden powerful Johnny Cage, so it was okay for the most part. None of this green halo bullshit. He did his thing. Good dialogue too. Let's go to the main eventers. Uh, let me tell you something, man. Your boy Goro got over big. Goro looked like a freaking beast in this movie, okay? Without spoiling anything, this guy, I don't know what happened to the power scale in here, but Goro was a problem. Big time problem. And you can see Goro is in front of Liu Kang. That should tell you all you need to know right there. Clearly, they're going to build him up for the next movie to get stronger. So I can see where that's going. But at the same time, that was a shocker. Quan Chi, I mean, you saw him own Scorpion in the Nether Realm. He had some power, put up a decent fight against Scorpion, did his thing. Shang Tsung showed off his power owning Quan Chi with ease, looking strong. Looked like a threat out there, did Shang Tsung. But as you can imagine, the main eventer of this film was Scorpion. And yes, he stole the spotlight from Liu Kang. Don't know what the hell that was. Scorpion was never stronger than Liu Kang. But apparently in this movie, he is. And they made that abundantly clear. Scorpion was the main event. It's his film. Okay. And the last person that was stronger than Scorpion has to go to Raiden. Raiden's best showing looked like a boss, one-shotting people. That's it. That's the power scaling to this film. Good showings for Raiden, Scorpion, Goro. Bad showings for Jax and all these other glorified jobbers. Almost forgot friggin' Sub-Zero. Hardly done anything and when he did show up, his fight was over in no time. Deserved a longer fight, deserved better. 
for the second most popular character in Mortal Kombat. Y'all could have done him better than that. Showed up, got washed, and that was it. But yeah, I'd put him in the mid card section. That's it, people. If you're a fan of MK, it's definitely worth the watch. Is it the greatest thing ever? Nope, but at the same time, not bad. 